Mr Vinance, what's your assessment of Aegon's performance over the last quarter? Well, we're very pleased again with the set of results we're presenting now for the second quarter. Um, it shows a good uh, momentum continuing um, in terms of net income, up 43%. Underlying earnings, up 7%. Sales growth. Uh, but probably most striking this quarter is a, a milestone we have achieved, and very significant one, with over 500 billion of revenue generating assets we're holding on behalf of our customers. This is the first time in our history that we've reached this 500 billion mark. And I think it really shows that what well, we've been talking about a lot in the past about customer confidence, um, that that is working. What do you attribute this customer confidence to? At the heart of our strategy is to connect with our customers. We need to make sure that we understand the customer's needs. We need to make sure that we offer and make available the right products and services. And most importantly, I believe, it's the dialogue we need to establish. And I think this is what we're now seeing. Customers believe that we are addressing their needs. And we are addressing growing needs. People need to protect themselves. People need to retire. They need to save for the future. And that's what is reflected in it. At the same time, we're also making investments, so we're committing financial resources in order to connect better with our customers. In each of our markets, we do so. In the US, in the Netherlands, but also in our emerging markets. And I believe that this connecting with our customers, getting closer to them, understanding their needs, is what is reflecting in this 500 billion uh, milestone, which obviously we are really very proud of. Can you tell us about Aegon's recent expansion into Portugal? What we're doing in Portugal is an extension of our distribution agreement, I would say a very successful partnership with Banco Santander. Um, as you know, we are in Spain the exclusive provider of insurance products. We're working very closely with Santander to service their customers. And Santander has now asked us if we wanted to extend that partnership into Portugal. This is at the heart of our strategy of building and expanding our distribution, getting closer to our customers. Um, in other mar markets, we've also been expanding our distribution, particularly in the U.S., and you see that reflected in the very strong growth in sales of health products, where we see that distribution today um, has again allowed us to increase our production very significantly. And expanding our distribution, getting deeper, closer to our customer, is all at the heart of our strategy in every single market in which we operate. How would you describe Aegon's financial position? Aegon has a very strong financial position. And this is important not only for shareholders, but also for our customers. For shareholders, it's important because it allows us to declare an interim dividend of 11 cents a share. And why is this so important for our customer? Well, it's extremely important for our customer. Our customers trust their assets with us, their savings with us, but also we're making promises for the future. And therefore, having a strong financial position puts us in a much better position to make sure we can make all these promises. That's what the customers want to see. So looking to the future, what are Aegon's main challenges and opportunities? Well, we live in a complex world um, with uncertainty in many areas. Uh, we've seen an improvement in the economic environment, but still a way to go. Also believe that we have a more complex uh, regulatory environment. Uh, that's something we'll have to live with. And finally, um, although equity markets have done very well, we still live in an environment of low interest rates, which for the long term has never been favorable for a business. But for Aegon, on the sh uh, shorter term and medium term, has had limited influence. But let me talk about the many opportunities. I see a lot of opportunities and ongoing opportunities just because of the changes that are taking place. Not only aging of population, but probably more importantly, the need and the fact that every individual now has more and more to take himself responsibility for his or her financial future. That's a great opportunity for us. But it also means we have to get closer to our customers, we have to enter in a dialogue, we have to connect with them, um, and that's what we're doing. We're working hard and trying to get closer to our customers by using a lot of technology. That is changing, and that really is, I believe, one of the drivers of growth of, uh, of, of the future. So many opportunities ahead of us, 
but most importantly, I'm happy to say that I feel we're well positioned to take these opportunities. We're investing in the future, we're investing in technology, we're present in many markets with large populations. Uh, so I feel very confident about the future and about the many opportunities in what still remains an uncertain world. Mr. Weinanz, many thanks for joining us.